What's going on, everyone? This is Trebitz Game in Trenton. Ladies and gentlemen, Las Vegas, the Cobalt 400. Race number three of the season. We are literally third in points behind Jimmy Johnson, Dale Hart Jr. We can do this. We can win today's race. We got this. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our starting lineup. Starting first, Brad Klosky, second. Joey Logano, third, Jimmy Johnson, fourth, Kurt Busch, and fifth, be Dale Onhart Jr. We'll take a look at some notable uh, starting positions for other drivers around here. Kyle Busch, sixth, Carl Edwards, ninth, Denny Hamlin, 13th, your Daytona 500 winner, Tony Stewart, 23rd. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get going with the Cold War 400 here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Cobalt 400. We are green here at Las Vegas. They lead us to the strike. Going into turn one. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day to race. Ladies and gentlemen, we are reaching here about 6 o'clock. Sun's starting to go down. It is beautiful weather, though. So it's beautiful weather out here in Nevada. Las Vegas. Nice deserty type feel out here. It's it's beautiful. Got about an 88 degree track temperature. Interesting racing we're gonna see here today. Matt Kenseth all over the back bumper. Paul Menard in the back. This race continues on strong. We have a 35 lap race for you, ladies and gentlemen. As Brad Keselowski pulling off Jimmy Johnson as we speak. Jimmy Johnson got a good car. You know, this could be the season Jimmy Johnson captures his eighth NASCAR title. Seven time champion, joining the likes of the King Richard Petty and the Intimidator, Darren Hart Sr. One of those titles has got almost. Consider Jimmy Johnson as one of the, the best ever to race, right? Like, you put him on the Mount Rushmore of NASCAR, correct? I mean, you almost gotta. Take a look. Keselowski still holding off Jimmy Johnson up there in the front. Battle for third. As we speak. Is Jimmy Johnson looking to go low here on Keselowski? Big time racing we got going on here. About 32 laps to go. Coming up on 31 laps to go. Beautiful racing we have. I just love seeing the sun gleam across these cars. It's so gorgeous. Jimmy Johnson leads our pack. Keselowski second. Logano third. Couple pair of Penske drivers up there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to commercial. Stay with us here at the Cobalt 400 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'm Ricky Bobby. If you don't chew Big Red, then f*** you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cobalt 400. Not much has changed. Jimmy Johnson, stereo leader. We have a new second place uh, driver at the moment. It is Joey Logano. Keselowski has fallen back to third. Besides that, we got Matt Kinza passing both Bush brothers for the sixth position. Oh, and look at him just cutting him right in half. They sliced him. Kinza does not get halfway through the turns. Don't know. He probably need a tra uh, track bar adjustment or something. Wedge. Something's got to change there on that car. He going into the turn, and he had to hit the brake there for just a moment. But it's just enough to make him lose. His uh, position. And there is a yellow. Not sure what they're calling it for. Debris on the track. This is what we're hearing. Jimmy Johnson up in the front pitting. He may have a problem. Ryan Blaney. Surprisingly, we're going to see Matt Kenza stay out here. Interesting decision. Ladies and gentlemen, up in front. 
Kevin Harvick is going to be battling here for this race with Joey Logano as we hit the green flag. Oh my goodness. And look at Matt Kenseth to the ground. This is Matt Kenseth's opportunity. He's ran in the back most of the race as we go into turn one. Oh, as we hit into turn one, it looks like Dale Hart Jr. could try to maybe pass Joey Logano. Not sure what's going to happen. Keselowski losing his fifth position spot here to Matt Kenseth as we go into turn number three. Kenseth is there for third. Oh, but he's going to lose it. He's losing control. Oh, they're trying to put a four wide. Kazalowski tried to put a four wide. As Logano and Earnhardt get away. Oh, Kenseth is just driving the car a little too hard now. A little too hard. Way too hard. He had a chance there. He just couldn't hold his position. And now look at him just fall back even more spots. Fucking stupid, dude. Fucking reckless car that don't even can drive. As we watch Matt Kenseth struggle with this car even more. It's got to be difficult for Matt Kenseth to have, have such a struggling car. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we just heard from our intel that we are going to get an interview from Matt Kenseth here today after the race. So that is going to be interesting to hear what he has to say about his car. Of course, it'll be the first time we'll have an interview here on this series. As we watch Matt Kenseth dive it into one, trying to hold down his position. Let up the gas way too much. I'm not sure why he did that. As Kurt Busch will make the pass on him too. Kenza falls even farther. As Joe Logano still leads this race. It's Kenza's right tire. He said his tire has been falling apart and we've heard a vibration from the car the entire race. And that's what Kenseth had to say. He said he feels like there's a vibration whenever he goes into the turn. That's the reason why he hasn't been able to make much passes when he passes here on this race. Right now he's trying to stay content with Kurt Busch. Trying not to lose any more spots as there's five to go. We just got the five to go signal. Out of the gas too much there for Matt Kenseth. Seems like that was a lot of the problem here in the race. Not even the vibration. Seems like he just got out of the gas a little too much than what he should have. No, he's all over the back bumper of Kurt Busch, and he spins him. Kurt goes around. Oh, my goodness. What a call there. As we're going to get the green flag here. As we get the green flag, look at the drivers all around the track. Joe Logano in the lead. Oh, this is going to be crazy. We're going to go into turn one with a lot of speed. Kyle Busch on the outside trying to win himself a race. Not going to do it. Earnhardt on the inside. As we come out of turn two, it's going to be crazy. We're, as we get this green-white checkered here, it's going to be crazy going into the turn three. What's going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Earnhardt fell off the track. And Kyle Busch somehow. Oh, my. I don't even know. This is nuts. Kyle Busch somehow lost it in the turn against Joey Logano. Now, can Joey hold off for one more turn? I don't know. Kevin's there. Kevin is there. No, Joey blocks. This race is Joey Logano's. Joey Logano will win the Cool Boy 400. Awesome. Kevin Harvick finishes second. A big crash on the front stretch. Matt Kenseth around. Two other drivers. Oh, my goodness. What a horrible crash. Joe Logano won by one hundredths, one thousandths of a second. One hundredths of a second. Over Kevin Hart. Brad Klosky, third. Kyle Busch, fourth. 
Matt Ken's a fifth. So we take a look at our newly updated point standings. Earnhardt will fall back into the first position with Jimmy Johnson falling back to third. Matt Kenseth in second. Jigalong moves up to fourth. Martin Church Jr. remains in fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a look. The fast lap was held by Kevin Harvick today. Take a look at the most laps led. That's by Joey Logano and 27. 27 laps today. That's impressive. Michael Madow started 36, finished 18. Good job for him today. He needed that. And Kurt Busch started fourth, ended 36 because of the wreck that he and Matt Kenseth was involved in. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to listen to what uh, Kurt Busch actually said in the car when he was spun. We're going to listen to that right now, and we'll show you the replay. After that, we'll see you all later, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Cobalt 400. Check up motherfucking damage.